Danger Darwin. From fossils of distant human subspecies, the trees that survived the apocalypse which nearly wiped out life on Earth, we count 15 fascinating pieces of history carved into rocks and bones from the past. Number 15. Zombie Ant Fossil 2010, the 48 million year old fossil of a leaf is discovered. One with several ants inexplicably biting down on the surface as they've died. Investigations revealed a fungus that had taken control of the ants' minds when they were still alive and forced their bodies to leave the hive to seek out a leaf. Then the fungus forced them to go into a death grip on the leaf surface, thereby allowing the fungus to propagate itself using the undead ant as a host. Creepy stuff! I'm really glad evolution decided not to let this one become the norm. Number 14. The Giant Ant Speaking of ants, four paleontologists discovered a fossil in 2011 that clearly showed a 50 million year old winged queen ant the size of a hummingbird from the Western Hemisphere. It's believed this ant sprayed formic acid as a form of self-defense and may have followed a carnivorous lifestyle butchering larger animals as food for the swarm. Since it appeared across continents, some call it the first reported cross-arctic thermophilic insect resettlement. Number 13. The Four-Winged Dinosaur 2002 a remarkable discovery hailed as the possible missing link between ground dinosaurs and birds. They're also known as the Microraptor. This fossil, estimated to be around 130 million years of age, was discovered in a Chinese rock quarry known to be a massive trove of ancient fossils. It used feathers on its various legs as well as its wings to keep itself afloat. Number 12. Devil Frog. This one was discovered in Madagascar, a 70 million year old frog fossil the size of a beach ball. This humongous frog weighed in around 4.5 kilograms with a height exceeding 40 centimeters. To put that into perspective, the current largest frog ever found alive can only reach 32 centimeters maximum. The first fossil fragment was found in 1993, but it took 14 years before scientists had enough data to publicize their findings. Number 11. Cosmoceratops. This one comes in from the late Cretaceous period, just before the dinosaurs got wiped out. The fossil was discovered in Utah, what was once known as the island continent of Laramidia, and here we find a triceratops-like dinosaur with an absurd amount of horns. Not only does it have around five along its face, but has a long head brooming with downward spiking horns like a hairdo all down the skull to make a total of 15. It's generally thought to be a sexual trait appealing to those of the opposite gender. Number 10. A saber-toothed squirrel. 2002, a skull is found buried in rock near northern Argentina. But since paleontologists can't crack open the rock to inspect it, the skull gets shelved. Then, 2005, a technician finally removes the rock from the fossil and discovers a squirrel creature with narrow snout and long fangs used for hunting insects. These things were only 20 centimeters long, but it could still bite right through a human neck. Number 9. The first ever squid. We find this fossilized mollusk from 500 million years ago, known as the first ever squid and ancestor to the modern octopus. This was discovered in Burgess Shale of Canada, a relic from the Cambrian period of long ago. This thing could shoot jets of water through its funnel like a nozzle would, but it's because of this we can link them to modern day sea creatures. Number 8. Whale Land Descendants. 2007, India. A fossil is discovered of a dog-like creature from 48 million years ago, with many of the same body structures as aquatic animals like bone structure, teeth, etc. Likewise, in 2008, it's discovered that an ancient whale used legs to swim like a doggy paddle, and that eventually, over millions of years, these legs devolved into fins. It turns out, whales evolved from land mammals and we finally found the missing link. Number 7. A Baby Dinosaur Nest 2011, Mongolia. The fossilized remains of 15 juvenile protoceratops dinosaurs are discovered by David Fetovsky. It was the very first indication that this particular genus remained in their nest for a period of time, possibly protected by a single mother. 
But on the grander scope, it also revealed that young dinosaurs were kept in the nest during early development, cared for by the parents. Number six, the living fossil tree. Not much survived the extinction event that marked the end of the dinosaurs, but mammals rose to dominance and certain plants struggled through. One tree, known as the ginkgo tree, not only survived the extinction event, but global warming too. In fact, you can still find it today in harsh areas of the world, used primarily by people for medicine. Since the tree's leaves did not absorb carbon dioxide, it plowed through one of the deadliest areas on Earth, and today it's more or less fully resistant to weather, disease, and types of insect. Number five, the spider attack. During the same dinosaur period, we find the first ever photograph of a spider attacking its prey captured in a hundred million year old amber fossil. It was discovered in 2012 by experts from Oregon State University, and they remarked the wasp was watching the spider just as it was about to be attacked when tree resin flowed over and captured both of them. Both the spider and wasp seen in the fossil are now regarded as extinct. Number four, the mysterious human ancestor. A humanoid skull is discovered 40 years ago in Kenya, but a name is never put to this offshoot of humanity living at the same time of Homo sapiens and Neanderthals. In the years between 2 million and 1.7 million BC, it coexisted with the other humanoid species in the rift valleys of Africa. While it had the big brain indicative of a genus Homo, it also had the long flat face no other species had at the time, often thought a third subspecies offshoot. Today, theories go out there that there might have been many subspecies of human at the time, not just one or two. Number three. Ghost Dragon, Northeast China. Some paleontologists discover a wildly snaggletooth skull belonging to a mysterious 120 million year old flying reptile. Its proper name is Gidraco Venator, Chinese or Latin for Ghost Dragon Hunter, a variety of pterosaur with a wingspan extending beyond 10 feet in diameter. Although these aren't technically dinosaurs, they're the world's first flying vertebrates, and this particular fossil was found a good distance away from the place we currently assumed these things called home, and it's still a mystery to this day. Number two, giant penguins, New Zealand penguins, alive 25 million years ago, ones that stood nearly four feet six inches tall. At the time of their existence, most of New Zealand was underwater, leaving isolated rocky landmasses that kept these giant penguins safe from predators and provided a plentiful food supply. These specific fossils from 1977 were reconstructed using two separate bones and parts and pieces from a king penguin and is now known as the largest of the five species that lived on New Zealand. Number one, the largest shark jaw. This comes from the biggest predator ever to exist on Earth, the Megalodon. This thing died out 1.5 million years ago, weighing in at over 100 tons of pure carnage, and it took 20 years to reconstruct this jaw from fragments. The jaw set is composed of over 180 individual teeth, massive ones. That is it for this countdown. Have a good one!